Okay, I need one rubber for, I guess we'll go with yellow for a kiss. I wonder if I can find any more. It's like, what the hell is going on here? Did I land like in a rubber tree factory? Holy mackerel. What are you going to do for my subscribers? Going to give them 10% off. 10%? 10% off everything. Just Wow, that's more than I get. Good day, fellow Russians. Well, I didn't know that. The light just came on. I am at pinballleds.ca headquarters in Durham, Ontario with the often imitated, never duplicated Eddie Durazio. And we're walking around his warehouse because I'm coming to buy some parts. And I am just absolutely flabbergasted at his collection of rubbers. And it doesn't stop here. We have every color under the sun that you can believe. It's crazy and it's all on his website. Now, you want some flipper rubbers. Why not? What color do you want? Do you want green? Light green? Do you want dark green? Do you want... Do you want... Oh, you got acorn? these now. You yeah. prick, when did you get these? You got acorns. Know. Well, okay, you know what? Got those. What else do we have here? And then if you're for the new Stern games, you got your your uh, tapered slimline posts as well. I got all kinds. I got... Uh, okay, this guy is certifiable, guys. Like, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Every rubber you, you Every, need like, size. I think this is every rubber in the history of mankind, like, ever made. Up to five inch. Oh and my goodness. All the different ones in different colors, purple. You got your reds over here. We got purple, we got red, we got rubber tips as you well. You got yellows there. Oh, you got yellow posts too, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, okay. They're in every color. So every every rubber I have in every single color. So there's 11 different colors. In total. Wow. Okay, so we're just in, uh, I think this is section A of the warehouse. Yeah, and then if you need a... Uh, uh, what else do we have here? Uh, this is just upstairs. This is the overflow because I ran out of room on my... This is the overstock because the rest yeah. of the warehouse is full. So if you need cup holders... Oh, cup holders, yeah. And we I, got like every I color have them in, Yeah, in, in different colors. So orange, blue, green, you name it, black. God, I guys, in those colors. Then, I, am, I am overwhelmed with what I'm seeing here. This is absolutely insane. Wait till I show you Eddie's uh, collection too, by the way. So. Yeah. And then these are all flipper rebuild Why kits. Why not? Every. <laughs> so these are all flipper rebuild Holy kits. Holy crap. They're all uh, that East, yeah. Sega, yeah. Stern, Williams. Williams Valley. It's all on the website, right? It's all on the website. Here, so it's here, let's website. just uh, pop one open here. Look. Look what the kit comes with. That's complete. Yeah. Not half kit, not none of that. No, no, no. Nonsense. They come like as full, kits. Full kits. Holy mackerel. Left and right. Left and right. So why wouldn't I shop on your website? Let's okay, let's go down. Yeah. This isn't what I wanted to show you, by the way. There's uh oh, you want some black ones too? There's black rubber. Yeah, we can we can do that. Then for greens, we got three different greens because everybody's into this uh Light green, dark green, kind of regular green. So this is a part this of this. This is just an overflow. This room. is just the overflow room because uh, there's obviously more stuff downstairs. So let's go down and have a look. Okay, here's another part of the warehouse. So we got. Oh, uh, we got. Uh, yeah, I guess start here. What are these, Eddie? So those are all the mirror blades for uh, JP Stern, uh, William Bally, and then these ones are the. The plastic ones to protect your artwork in the game comes with an installation. Oh, thing. this is when you're servicing the game. You're when you're servicing ah, and you okay, fold, okay. and it comes with some magnets to hold them in place, and then you lift your play field, and it protects your artwork from getting scratched. Okay, that's cool. That's right? cool. It's like we've got lockdown bars. We've got. Uh, well, let's go from the top. Like yeah. we need to have more rubbers. Why not? Well, there's more here. Right? Yeah, we got some more here. Of course, we've got the rebounds for the old Gottliebs. Like any color you want pretty well yeah. and we got flipper bags, bolts we got legs brand new legs we've got, got them holders we've got them in black and chrome right black and chrome 
And then we've got hold down bars for. Oh, those are the lockdown bars. Lockdown for all bars. The steering games. So the the uh, there's three different models, and then I have the William Bally uh, Chrome ones, as well. Oh, you got Bally's now, yeah, like yeah. a newer Bally or older? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, yeah, the uh, DMD ones, the the Chrome ones. Okay, cool. Then I have. Uh, uh, well, those are all cups over there. Then these are all legs. Uh, so these are the chrome and the black uh, ribbed legs. Yep. No shortage of legs. Yeah. And then. Yeah, we'll get to. Hard, it's hard to. We're gonna get over there, but. Uh, yeah, I just I just put these empty ones here. But these empty ones. Oh, and uh, we got. If you need flipper bots, I'm sure we got. Uh, we got one or two flipper bots, anyways, Eddie. Yeah, flipper bats in different <laughs> colors. There's the the pop bumper caps uh, or the bases that have the caps that go with them in different colors. The bases in different colors. Then we have rubber feet. So if you're looking for they're right here. Yeah, if you're looking for the rubber feet. So I got these are all in different boxes on this side. Um, so these are the rubber feet that uh, obviously go on games. Yeah. On the bottoms, we've got what do we have? Red, black. Green, God knows what we got. Yeah. And um, if you need, so for your games, if you need your your trim, I have the the upper, lower. Oh, we have these, okay. Yeah, so these are just the, the sample ones of all the different ones. So you have the back piece in wide body as well, right? And then we have all the lift channels, all the different sizes. We also have for your DMD the top piece. If that snaps, you can replace that one. This is game. the stuff that you know I, I've been uh, buying at swap meets used and things like that, and it's uh, great to have a resource yeah. for them. Yeah, let you alone can just get it all new or whatever. Yeah, that's so for awesome. Data East, the lift channel bar. So I got it for all the games. So that's crazy. So let's go over here. here. Uh, do you need leg protectors? Yeah, those are all. Uh, <laughs> these are all bolts over here three quarter and two and a half we'll see them in so the, if you're uh, doing in the retail cup, store yeah, right? if you're doing cup holders you you want and like protectors you want the two and a three quarter because it's a little longer yeah we'll see so them in the retail store upper right? corner here are leg protectors that i have and up at the top there's more flipper bats and uh and star posts and things like that that i have in stock and so here's the leg protectors that yeah. you can see. So we've got all the colors that you need. Yeah. Green, purple, red. Do you have white? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I got white, white too? Okay. And wow. clear. And clear. Oh, okay. That's that's a good one. That's a yeah, good one. If you want clear ones. Okay. And then on here's all the these are all uh pinball chrome balls. Oh balls. All the way down. About ten thousand there, and then here we got our our. Uh, it's about four thousand. These are the the ninja style ones. We'll see it in the room there. They're they're comparable to the ninja chrome balls, and then I I carry uh, on these ones are the uh, uh, metal feet replacement feet for the games. And we'll see them in the store. And right? They'll be in the store, and then here. This bin here is what all the guys want. As opposed to all the girls. Well, the guys want it for a reason. So these are all oh, the chrome legs. There we go. Non-ribbed, 27 inch, 28 and a half inch, and 31 inch. Wow, that's, that's beautiful. What's uh, retail on these? Uh... It's hard to tell because I'm selling them as individual legs, right? So they're all different prices. Oh, you can buy just one. You can just buy so one. So the pricing is on the website, right? The price is yeah. all on the website. You got you to gotta check out the website because there's so much stuff we're missing. Yeah. But what's uh, what's cool about it is, uh, you know, then, price, it's service with this guy as well. You order it, you're going to get it shipped probably same day, if not the day after. Yeah, like if you want... Uh, okay, we're going to just go to... just small... Okay, this stuff is in the... Uh, like if you need flashers, there's uh, tons of flashers. All different styles of flashers on this side. 
all the way up to the bottom. And then the ones that, that a lot of guys are using for the to do the uh, star posts. I have these. So you can light up your star posts. You have those in the store, we'll show yeah. them. Yeah, 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 yeah. And those are the, the ones that everybody's using now on games. Uh, do any of these, uh, just out of curiosity, any automotive applications with these? Or can they go in a like an older car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I even use, to, to be honest, I use, uh, which ones are they? These, these, these ones here. Or these. That okay, the style. wedge, yeah, yeah, the wedge, yeah. I use them in my uh, my boat. <laughs> oh, right on. Okay, <laughs> marine application too. Twelve yeah. volts, right? Yeah, twelve volts, twelve so volts, I use right? Them for all my boat lights as well. Okay, here's just some. That's just a sample. This is just some of them. Okay, these are all. all uh, Eddie started with pinball LEDs, hence the uh, the title uh, of his uh, website and his branding. But, uh, you, if, oh, by the way, if you need some more rubbers, why not, right? They're everywhere. Like, these things, I think they grow, they breed. You know, you just uh, plant some rubber seeds, and, well, those, you, you plant these little things, and then they grow to this size, right? But, <laughs> oh, my Lord. Okay, this is fantastic. Yeah. And then we have more LEDs up here. Yeah, those are all the retro, retro bulbs. So these are like, uh, you'll show clear, us some. Clear tops. Yeah, so these are uh, the 44 types. And then what's in here? Uh, that one was the... Uh, oh, why not? Oh, okay. Here we go. Just for picking, because they're, they're usually upstairs. So I have different type of star posts. Star posts. Uh, lane guides. Yeah, if you need lane guides, those are the for the William Valley games. And then some flippers. There's the... If you need the post, the clear posts, clear, yeah. you want to replace them. Uh, then you have your star posts. I have pop bumper caps in different colors, even the translucent ones. All right? Okay. So if you're going to use uh, uh, a pop bumper LED that has lights on the top and bottom, you might want to go with the clear top so you can emphasize the color. Uh, we have the LED adapters for the, the Bally's that I like to work on. We have C-Craft and I have my own brand. Uh, as well okay and then we have drop targets as well yeah and then these ones are all your your uh, uh, flame bulbs so i have flame bulbs and then i also have blinking bulbs so have which we'll see in we'll which we'll room. see inside so yeah. uh, this is just where i'm using i'm doing like mods and stuff so what i'm trying to do is introduce some newer products so what i have is uh so your for your light up flipper buttons um and then they come in I have, it goes with my matrix cabling and then you can set it to any color you want green red blue and then you can mix colors to do purple or to do uh red uh not red uh yellow to do white um so it's, it's very useful because it's uh one one button that does every color awesome here's right. your uh some rebuild kits yeah, so pinball LEDs by Drapple. Yeah, okay, that's uh, that's how we also branding. do these. Just as an example, so if you need the hinge kits, the light up hinge kits for games, uh, we have them as well. Uh, and then we can customize on special requests if you want a specific game. We can make them for pretty well any game. Because you do three D printing here as well, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, um, so okay. we got the 3D printing stuff, and then... Uh, Let's go into... Got? And then, I'm the only one who has these. Just remember this. If you're looking for your Gottlieb connectors... Ah, yes. I'm the only one that carries System these. 1, I think System 1, and is it System 80 as well, I believe? Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you can get them at Marco. Marco has them at double the cost of mine. But any type of connector, I have them all for the for the valley. And these are the I ones mean, that gauntlet. typically, um, the plastics, the, they degrade over time. And then when you're trying to put in the Molex connectors, you end up breaking them. So this is a, yeah. this is a good source to have. Yeah. And this is just over, all these cabinets are full of LEDs because I don't have enough room in my other Because we need, so. a, we need another warehouse. So every one so of these. We got about, keep about 500,000 bulbs in stock. So At that's that's time. enough to power. What's that about? Uh, we, we about four percent of the Canadian through. population. So here's the the retail store, as I like to call it. Yeah. And so there's a sample of everything that we just saw, and this is uh, 
Let me just go around here real quick. And then here's all the rubbers. Everything is very organized, very neat. You know, good for Eddie because he's got so many SKUs that uh, it would drive most people crazy, but he's done a really good job in organizing everything for a quick turnaround and quick sale. So so if you want to just go so that we can, we yeah. can see. So for the posts, for games, we have the uh, short posts for usually for the Data East games. You got your tall posts. I got your slimline posts. And then I got some interesting stuff. So the, uh, these, I believe, are on the older games. You'll, you'll find these two. This is a, a one that we did um, so you can use it for your slingshot plastics to protect them on the ends. Also, and uh, you match the plastic on top. So whatever not? you have for your color, and, and every <laughs> color has the exact same stuff. So for flippers, we have our regular modern flippers, and then we have our gauntlet flippers. Uh, this one is... Uh, that looks like... Yeah, uh, these ones are on gauntlet yeah. as well, but these are for... Um, uh, there's one, I think it was the, it, it still is Gottlip, I believe, yeah. that has the, the slimmer flipper. Yep. And then this one's for... Uh, is that a mini a flipper? Shrek. There's a couple of games that have the smaller flipper. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shrek, the uh, Family field. Guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah games so I have those in the 11 different colors as well. Because that's probably more than Stern made. Yes. <laughs> and then I think there's three games in total that have those. And then th that's your short flipper. Well, talk about uh, hard and obsolete parts to and, find, eh? And then we have some more uh, odd parts that you need for a game. Do you have those in black? Every color. Okay, so these are uh, used on the older Bally games, the stuff that I like to work on the channel, like Evil Knievel on the dead stops. It's these. Some people will... Uh, put a rubber ring on it but this is the actual uh, right one you want to use and yeah. you want it in black and they're very hard to find as well so and then those are the pads that they have for the kick out um and again i have them in different colors uh then you have your acorn ones that we were talking about upstairs awesome and then your regular the rest are just the regular rubbers in every size up to five uh inch Okay. If you're looking for the Stern games or the, the Bally games, you want the inserts. I have them in different colors um, for your free play. I so these are the coin door inserts. Yeah. So I, I just did a video green. on coin doors and somebody told me that I put them on the wrong way. And I appreciate the comment. I appreciate all comments, good or bad. So please don't hesitate to... Um, you know, even email yeah. rushfanatlive.ca. But these are cool. These are. Yeah, it's uh, got the plastic. And it's got the it. Bally logo on it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's awesome. And then the, for the Williams, they're all in different colors. So if you need them in. Yeah. Let's, uh, show me. Let's show one up to the light on the Williams. So this, oh, this one's the Stern one. Just so okay, Stern. Yeah, that's the cool. Stern. Yeah. I'm just going to hold it up to the light. So. Oh, it says quarter. And then the other ones are branded with the company name, right? So here's yeah. Free Play. There's a cut plastic coating on them, so it's not really. Yeah, you're not gonna get. The, you're not getting the full translucency behind it. And then okay, these are the money ones, man. These are the ones that I collect, and they're all scratched. And I showed you how to refurbish them on uh, my most recent uh, coin door restoration video. But wow, they're brand new. And then if you need like. Uh, okay, then we got Williams. And then I have them as quarters. I, th I think you had the free play one. Right? Uh, that was. There's or the free play one if you want. Just yeah. the free. Oh, free play. Oh, that's cool. Free play, press start with the Williams logo on it. You need the, the ones that say... Colors. You need the ones that say Susan B. Anthony. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for our American friends, the Susan B. Anthony. I think it was a dollar coin, if I'm not mistaken, that uh, uh, had a debut back in the 70s. And I still get some games that have those on it. So, so here's... Well, before you oh, get into oh, that, we, let's... We stop. let's we so, have more. So this is all matrix wires for for the matrix system. If ever, if you don't know what a matrix system is, it's it's just an easy way of cabling and providing power 
to mods or, or LED strips you want to add to your games, right? The three foot strips for the back of games. I have different kind of connectors and, and cabling. On this side over here is usually the, like if you want like a, a, a 10 SMD strip, a 3 SMD usually for the trough area. And then I got longer ones that are 20 SMDs. And the other ones are 50 SMDs that we're, we just saw you. And then I have all the adapters and connectors that you need, including bulbs. If you need a bulb with a cable in it so that you can hook up. And you're going to show power. us that though. You'll show yeah, us yeah, that. I'll show yeah. you. Yeah. Now he's also got cleaning supplies. So if you need Novus enough to clean uh, like the Titanic. There are more adapters and connectors for the matrix system. Um, this is awesome. Oh, we have uh, sockets as well. Yeah. And then old school light sockets. Yeah, if you need the sockets, I have those. Um, and then the, the other stuff is just stuff that I print. And then if we're going to get into some stuff. So let's look at some lighting here. Uh, I guess, you know what, we'll plug this in in a minute. Yeah. Uh, he's also carrying displays. Yeah. Seven digit and six digit for uh, Bally Stearns. The, the game, most of the games you see on the channel. Um so these are these are new and i love these because the, you don't need a high voltage section to work on the solenoid driver uh so you and you help alleviate a lot of uh, stress on that part of the game so these are just new i understand yeah okay now let's look at just some it's this yeah, is some just of the bulbs you'll have to excuse me because we had stuff sitting on it so i know there's one or two that might be damaged because they had stuff sitting on it i just showed up today uh, unannounced so uh, Eddie's been uh, good enough to to go through what he's got, and you know, um, if you guys are looking for somebody, uh, he could and be your guy. The premiums. So are these the flashers? That's just a flasher that changes color. Then you have your. your okay, these are pretty cool. That's your your flame in red, your flame in blue. Those are all uh, flashers. Wow, have those to are do one bright, at a time. Eh? Wow. Um, that's another style. The towers. And it could be just the socket. Well, you know what? We're going to also eliminate some sockets in a bit. Yeah. He's going to show you some new product. And that's, yeah, some of these sockets. Need. Oh, these things have been, you've been. Uh, oh, because I, I bring them places oh, yeah. and then they. Stack stuff on yeah. them. And... Uh, that's more flashes there. You're not going to get the true uh, brightness because I'm not running it at oh, yeah, 12 no, no, volts. No. Plus, it's, uh, we got all the lights on. Oh, yeah. those are bright. Yeah. And cool. The other style there. And these are the kinds you can move around too, right? Yeah, the flex ones. Awesome. Okay, okay show us those uh, so let's get this LED strips. So I have some samples. Oh, just so we understand, Eddie's not paying me to do this, by the way. Uh, he is going to be kind enough to put rush fan pinball on his link as well for some added exposure but there's no money changing here i'm not sponsored or anything like that but this is a fantastic resource especially you ship worldwide anywhere anywhere, anywhere. you know yeah. the, to the u.s to australia obviously to canada wherever uh, but here is uh something that really floored me these are drapsicles but what's so cool about them is how many different colors so i have them in uh, pink, purple, red, green, blue, yellow, um, white, cool white, warm white. Uh, did I say green? I, yeah. uh, I can't remember. <laughs> green, orange, orange. Why not? Yeah. Orange as well. So and here's here's what Eddie's done. He's given me two of every color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how they look in a future project coming up. Uh, just because when you add uh, a color with a colored insert, they really pop. If you add white to all the inserts, uh, the white sometimes drowns it out. It doesn't give the full effect of the color. So yellow is the best example. If you put just a white light behind yellow, the yellow actually looks white because it's very intense. I put a different color behind yellow. It really pops. So that's something we're going we're gonna to work on. But these are absolutely yeah. fantastic. You screw it in. You solder it on the top, you solder it on the back, and you're good to go. You eliminate um, the socket, you eliminate 
a, a bulb. It's all it's all in one. Okay. And then we carry our pinball replacements, and then these are the um, the the ones that uh, they're carrying that are higher polished. They're chromed. So there is a slight difference. I don't know if you're going to pick it up on the on the camera. Oh, these look. This does look a little brighter, yeah. like a little chromier, I guess. This yeah. looks a little darker chrome. Yeah, they're yeah. both really nice though. There yeah, you know. but this is the one that everybody keeps buying uh, online, and they're paying like four dollars or five dollars a piece. They're two dollars and fifty, I believe, on our website. If you want these style, beautiful. And then I also have them. I also have them in the longer size these will actually work on your uh on the older uh, em games awesome right. yeah. he's also got um these leg what do we call them Supports? Those are the brackets the, leg brackets yeah uh my most current build you're gonna see that i i use these brackets US, anywhere you go 950 to 11 bucks us on our site they're 725 or 750 canadian and pop bumper rings. I'm these things are like crack to me. Anytime I go to an event, I buy used ones. And if you see what I do to get them back up to snuff, you know what? Just buy them new. And then we let's get this back in the bag. So we are missing so much stuff too. I, I know there's a well. If you, know, you you're buying legs, anybody buying a, a, a game and bringing it in their homes. Ah, there you go. You need your feet. Plus so, the rubber that goes yeah, with the plus feet. the rubbers. If you need the rubbers, we have them here. here and again, they're in every different color. Put one on just to, to give people. Yeah. So they're, they've they got the, the rings on the back for traction. Yeah. Okay, and then that fits into there. Yeah, and that's it. And that saves the hardwood floor so your wife doesn't yell at you as you move a game around. It also adds traction to the game so it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't slide around as well. So and that comes with the bolt, right? Yeah. Or the nut, I should yeah. say, yeah. Perfect. Not like player one where they were selling the bolt for... And they were selling yours, were they not? Yeah. <laughs> they were yours anyways, and they were marking it up. So guess what? <laughs> come straight to the come straight to the source. That's it. Okay, I want to, again, what so, I want to do... Sorry, did you... Uh, yeah. Go. If you want to start, we can go... So we got clear top retro bulbs, and then we have flux bulbs. Flux bulbs has... Just so guys are aware, has a built-in circuit, so this will actually prevent uh, flickering on on your game. Some games, some some games, you have a bad socket or something, and it's it's getting a little bit of okay. voltage. This will will correct the issue using flex bulbs. That's okay. cool. And then you have your your which everybody's familiar with the frosted bulbs. I have two styles. This one has a thinner top, which is commonly seen everywhere. And I carry these premium ones. You can use them in your back glass. Uh, they are a bigger uh, head on them, um, but the, they give you a nice, uh, nice look on the older EM games. But they, I, I recommend them in the the back head only. Then you have open tops for SMDs, and then we have one SMD bulbs. We have our uh leg bolts that are two and a half inch and of course we've got black red Gold, silver green, yellow green, purple yeah like blue. yeah and then we have two and three quarter so if you're doing leg protectors or cup holders or the uh the brace yeah. you need them with the brace too yeah you want you want to use the longer uh, bolt then we have flex bulbs over here then we have uh, tower ones that are 12 volt and tower ones that are 6.3 volts to use on games. These are all flashers going this way up to this line here. Then we have RGB fast, slow blinking bulbs. Um, and then if you have your video games and you're looking for the 12 volt uh, coin door without the lip on the on the uh on the top oh okay so it doesn't you can put the cap on and it doesn't get stuck it's like a circumcised yeah that's it that's it <laughs> circumcised <laughs> 
So that's probably the the rudest joke I've ever said on the channel. So yeah. if I offend anybody, well, if you need we the, can laugh, right? T ten twist ons. If you need the T ten posts, show those because uh, these are. If you need the posts, I have them here as well. So again, this screws into the play field. Or you can, you and can, then you have uh, you can use like and then two lights that go you in. You can it, right? use one of these, but then you need a screw on the other end, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah okay, you, to lift it up for uh, what do you, uh, yeah, you what do they call it? What kind of lighting? Got uh, uh, focus lighting or uh, track lighting or whatever? Yeah. So you'll have to drill it a little bit to make it work with these, but that's that's typically what okay. I do. Right? And these are the twist and turns. Yeah. So you pop in a wedge bulb. So uh, and then you pop it in and you turn it on. Yeah. The, these Mostly are on the older games. They have yeah. those. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So we got that, and then uh, more s strips. Um, these are for the your your favorite ballet games. So here's right. what we're gonna do. You're gonna pull one of those out, one yeah. of the rings out. Okay. So these are the, for the pop bumpers. You got white that comes down. That shoots down below and then this one's red on top see how dim it is right now mm -hmm. on the back there's a little screw right there and then you just give me a sec there oh that's cool now i cranked it up. oh wow okay so now you got the bright top and it lights up the and it the lights up the bottom too wow, it's in, two a, lights in, in a one. cool white Right, so yeah. you can adjust the top if it's too intense. You don't, you know, some guys don't like the the brightness hitting them when they're playing yeah, from yeah. the top. But you want that light on the lower end. I mean, we have the light on right now, so it's hard to tell. No, you can, you can uh, totally. Make but it it, it, I can see the re reflection on my hand. That is so cool. Yeah. So that's that's for your William Bally, some of the Sterns, and then for the. Bowies you like to do, like kiss and stuff like this. So this is just going to be a white and white. You know, this is this is brilliant because the there's such a pain in the you know what uh, to wire up. They, they usually come low, like really dim. And then they, again, this has a little. Uh, oh, so that does the bottom too. Yeah, has a screw adjustment on the bottom, and then you. And there we go. Now we got wow. intensity, oh, intensity cool. on the bottom and the top. And these come in all different colors as well. And those are just plug and play, right? Yeah, plug and play. So that's the top and then the bottom. That's brilliant. Yeah. Top and bottom. Yeah. It's like that. Wow, that'll really light the base up, eh? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. That's what they're for. Uh, I usually uh, turn them up before I put them in the pack if someone orders them. That way you don't have to sit there and, and, and find a small screwdriver to do. I find to be the coolest. Don't spill them like last time. I'm just going to grab one box just to show. Oh, that is so cool. So that's the fast, fast blinking, and this is a slow blinking. So if you want to add some animation to your games, you have the older games that have back glass with no animation on it, you can... You know get a, a few combinations of slow blinking a couple of fast ones in strategic areas and, and and give it a little bit of a animated feel or maybe this is something that we consider so, so 50 smd i want you what's smd explain what an smd is so it's each each light so the more smds the lighter the no. brighter is going to be no no that's the, how many are on here there's 50 in total no i get it but uh so that's one smd here for example yeah, so, the, so those are uh, eight SMD flashers. Okay, so when somebody's on the website looking at a bulb, you want... What are they looking for? So if you're doing regular play field lights, you want two SMD. I don't recommend one SMD. They're not bright as bright. Okay. Right? So I always go with two SMD bulbs. Um, so minimum is a two SMD for a play field. I guess one SMD are good for well, just character the, lighting. Depends, or, yeah, yeah just, the application. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. absolutely, yeah. You know, yeah. So just so everybody's that, uh, everybody has their personal taste on on how they like things, right? So some guys want to keep things traditional, so they go with warm white uh, light bulbs because they don't want it to overly bright. 
Oh, he's also got uh, glass. What are these called again? Glass. So those are the DMD uh, glare protectors. Glare protectors. That's right. So let's grab a bulb so that way we can get an understanding. So okay, so if it's on your your game, you can replace your your bulb with one of these. It has a power output. This makes sense to everybody, right? Yeah. So it's this is a, just a feed coming off a bulb. And they come in T10s as well. So if you want. Do they come in wedge too? Yeah. From all no. the plugging in and, and disconnecting. Okay, now watch this. Look at that, eh? Okay, there we go. So you can see just the light that comes oh, yeah. underneath here. Face it up. So what do you guys think if I tried this in a light board? Hey, and then we can yeah. sort of move it around. We can, yeah. Well, you can you can shape it and do what you got to do with it. Get different strips. Do we uh, what uh, are there different lengths? I guess there are. But yeah, yeah. I have the 20, 20 SMD. Oh, okay. And then there's a ten SMD. There's a three SMD, and then I also have them in twelve volt if you want twelve volt. And the website says the length of the strip. So if uh, I'm throwing this out there, if I'm doing my kiss and I need, let's say I'm going to need three. Let me grab these other boards. Yeah. Let's say I'm going to need three of these to do uh, where the kit, where the guys line up. So one, if I need a whatever inch, Eddie's got the inches, the, sorry, the sizes on the website. So you can uh, order them. So then they're very simple. I eh? just, well, plug and play and you're good to go. I'm really interested in these. Uh, I'm definitely going to do a game with them for the next one. And we're just waiting. Uh... So for the Matrix, I also have this board. So let's and what say... I like, what I like about these is you can just clip these on. Yeah. So let's say... Power and ground, right? Let's say I, I was connecting to a bulb, right? And then I connect to the bulb, and then I wanted to go out to more than one to power different things. Mm -hmm. You can use one of these boards that I have on the website as well. That's actually a game changer. Okay. And then I also have an AC, AC in. Guys, to know. So I sell these cables. Both different ends. Oh, male and female. Yeah, okay. With open backs. So the other side is open, so you can solder it to a bulb if you want, right? And they're three feet long. Right? Oh, wow, well, okay. So then if you want to tap in to get power and you, you prefer not to put clips or anything like that, you want it to be soldered in, you solder it in on the one end, and then you get the matrix connector on the opposite side. All right? Okay, It's cool. the same thing. Like that, that spin-off board, the one I'm showing you, this expansion board, is really designed for this type of i'll bring you the connector it's really designed for this it'll be an open back three feet with the right. other side okay. yeah. you're going to plug this in and then you're going to take the other end and wire it to your mod whatever mod or, you want yeah you can if you plug into the bulb touch the bottom top it should work right yeah it should or is that a broken yeah, that's bar? right it might be broken oh there was yeah Okay. Okay, that's 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 uh that's the other way of doing this. Yeah. U utilizing the board. Okay. Perfect. Right. Awesome. But it's a simple, it's neat. You can put a two-way tape on the back of it, screw it in, whatever you want to do on your board and you're done. And same thing with this. That it's just compact and it it converts your AC to DC. Every, if everybody knows on the older game everything was AC. That's why these bulbs are both AC or and DC. They'll work either way, right? But for controllers that are DC, it won't work unless you put one of those on. Okay, a little too much talking about AC DC. It's it's all about rush. It's, well, rush, it's, it's rush, rush, rush AC on. DC. Come they're both <laughs> great bands. <laughs> all right. Um, okay, so the piece de resistance. The we're gonna end it with uh, something so, really cool. So you'll see these on the website. Uh, so I 3D print these. And then wow, these are if cool. If you come over here, just so I can show you. 
So if you got a, a Kiss Bally, an old Kiss Bally, they traditionally came with the red buttons that yes. look translucent. Yes. Right? But they don't light up. Right? So now you can take whether you want to do cool white, right? Or you could use your red, right? And I saw this as a kit on the website. So typically I will, this will all be like made for you. I won't, I wouldn't be doing this. I'll just show you. Okay. So this will go into your, 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 um, where your existing button is, mm -hmm. on, where that metal plate is, that yep. plate gets removed. This is put inside, oh, and okay. your flipper leaf goes into here. So okay. that's your leaf over here. Yep. Your flipper button has a little push thing. Yep. You screw this back in, and the light will shoot through this on the back end and light up your flipper button. When did you think of this? Well, we'll show you uh, just to end it off, because uh, I have it upstairs on KISS. So that way you can see oh wow that is so right? cool so it will actually illuminate the button on the other end okay yeah, you can totally see it yeah okay that way you can see it we're going to end it on the kiss game so what's the name of the of the website again it's pinballleds.ca okay uh this channel is all about sharing best practices sharing the love and our love for saving money as well what are you going to do for my subscribers Gonna give them ten percent off. Ten percent. Ten percent off everything. Just wow, that's more than I get. Using your your rush code. What's the code then? What's Rush Fan? Rush we'll just fan. go with Rush We're Fan. So they you rush type fan. in Rush Fan Eddie, it'll You're give you post it on your Oh, it's going on my channel. Yeah. With the code, and then I'll have it on my site okay. so that way they can just enter Perfect. it and it'll work. Wow. Okay, this is the first time I've uh, ventured into this arena, guys, and uh not Eddie's place, I mean, but in the uh, trying to get you guys some discounts. Anything coming down the pipe? Any uh, any new products? The one uh, thing I definitely want people to take advantage of is these uh, dropsicles. Like 100%. And if he's offering 10%, you'd be crazy not to go on the site and take advantage of that. Because uh, these are a game changer, especially for the games we work on. You know, that uh, not we work on, uh, but I, I like to favor the valleys and the sterns so definitely uh take advantage of that uh because it's not like he's only got uh, one or two of them okay so yeah <laughs> so this is this is for under cab and back of head lighting see how we're talking it's got a built-in microphone in it so whatever game sounds and noises are in the room it's gonna react to it uh it has different features comes with a remote control has different features this is waterproof so put on the boat has 3m tape. 3M tape yeah there's four of them that is cool look at that eh? it's just sitting there ever so slightly it's got this nice flicker to it so on this game if you come to the side here you'll see the back And it come out, they come oh, yeah. out the holes at the top. So it looks neat when you're done, but at least you get some light, lighting effect for the but back. So they are the that, that, that'll slap against the wall, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. That's cool. And I did it on this game too, on uh, Lord of the Rings. Oh, that's, that's cool. It's got a nice glow under it, eh? Yeah. I think the camera. It goes by the, the sound too, right? You see the, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the colors changing on the wall? That's cool. That is brilliant. Well. Yeah.